Hyvää perjantaipäivää teille kaikille. Kello on nyt 13. Tänään on tässä iltapäivällä tämän SUMET-CT-seminaarin toinen osa, mikä käsittelee SUMET-CT-termistön toteutukseen liittyviä asiakohtia. Päivän ohjelma näkyy tässä teille ruudulla, eli tosiaan tämän avauksen jälkeen käsittelemme Slovet CT-termistön rakennetta ja sen eri muotoja, Basic Concepts and Structure of Slovet CT-systeemiä ja sen liittyviä Slovet CT-jakelutiedostoja. Sen jälkeen on Slovet CT-jakelutiedostojen lataaminen ja käyttö. Siitä nähdään sitten esimerkkejä tällaisesta IHTSTO-yhdistyksen ylläpitämästä ja tarjoamasta Snowstorm-palvelusta. Ja tauon jälkeen mietimme ja näemme, miten käyttää Suomen CT-analyytikan sovelluksissa ja toisio käytössä. Näin saamme vastauksia tosiaan Ruotsista Daniel Karstonilta. Välkommen Daniel till vår seminar. Kiitos. Jokaisen aiheen jälkeen on mahdollista kysyä ja kommentoida joko suomeksi, ruotsiksi tai englanniksi. Ja ennen loppukeskustelua saamme tietoa, millaisia sovelluskohteita on Suomen CT-tervistyssä käytössä Ruotsissa. Tämä seminaari pidetään Teamsin kautta. Ja jos tunnette käyttöä, niin chat-kenttään voi kirjoittaa kysymyksiä ja kommentteja. Esityksen aikana on luvallista nostaa kättä ja sillä tavalla pyytää puheenvuoroja. Kaikki kommentit otetaan ylös ja niistä voidaan hyödyntää sitten tuolla meidän thl.fi nomet.ctn aiesivujen kautta tuleille vastauksille. Pyydän, että pitäisitte muuten mikrofonit kiinni, ellei ole itse äänissä. Jotta saamme lisää vuorovaikutusta, toivomme, että keskustelun aikana on kamera käynnissä ja nähtävillä, jos haluatte esittää kysymyksiä suoraan. Päivän esitykset on saatavilla tuolta verkkosivulta, mikä löytyy tältä chat-keskustelusta. Ja nyt annan sitten seuraavaksi puheenvuoron Danielille. On se Daniel, du kan börja nu varsa vänlig. Okei. So, thank you for having me again. Uh, I will start sharing uh, uh, so. So let me know when you can can see my screen. Yes, we can see it now. Thank yeah. you. So I uh, first I will I, I have my camera on the side, so I have two screens. So I, I will uh, try to look into the camera whenever I can. But if I'm not, then uh, that's because I'm looking on the other screen. Uh, so. Uh, <clears throat> So welcome everyone and and thank you for for having me. Uh, it's uh, uh, this is going to be very interesting for me as well. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is what I do uh, like almost every day. Uh, so th this is really uh, my my day job that I'm I'm going to be talking about. Uh, However, I, this is not the things I usually when when uh, we have uh, presentations about SNOMED, we usually talk about uh, like the generic stuff. And, and this uh, this presentation and, and this afternoon is going to be uh, detailed. Uh, it will be on the technical side of things. Uh, at at least from times to times. I, I know that there is a mixture of those with a technical background and those with a healthcare background and, and, and others. Uh, but I will try to, um, uh, to make sure that everyone gets at least something uh, from this presentation. Uh, I will, I, I would be happy if there are uh, questions that you could I, either raise your hand and we'll put them in the chat and I will uh, uh, I, I think I could get help from 
uh, from Mikko or, or others to uh, to moderate the, the questions. But but please feel free to ask questions during the presentation, and um, uh, and then we could. I, I think it's better to to uh, have discussions if there is something unclear. Uh, in, at, at the time of the presentation rather than afterwards. Uh, practically, we have, there is, uh, 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 the, the session is is uh, three and a half hours. I, I have, I've never done this before, so I don't know. Uh, uh, there, there are a, a fair number of topics that I've been asked to present to. Uh, <clears throat> But I, I I have basically no idea of how long this uh, will take, and it also depends on 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 the discussion and the questions and and so on. So uh, when we feel like there is a need for a break, uh, then I I think we could uh, see where where that fits, and and we could take a short break and then uh, get started again, if that's okay with everyone. So uh, the the things I'm going to be talking about today is the uh, the SNOMED CT structure and formats. Uh, this is going to be I'll I'll try to bring a generic view first, uh, and then it will be a bit technical. Uh, uh, and it probably it's it, depending on your taste, it might be technical from the start. Uh, I will talk about use of SNOMED in terminology service, and that will definitely be a bit, bit technical. Uh, and then I'll also talk uh, a bit about SNOMED CT and analytics, and, and I will give some demonstrations uh, about uh, what, what can be done with, with SNOMED and analytics in, in uh, depending on uh, how you, what, what your data looks like. Uh, then I'm I'm happy to uh, ask questions or discuss any other SNOMED topic that you uh, find interesting. I uh, this is the part the the first three bullet points. That's the things I prepared. I, I'm uh, I'm can answer many questions. I don't know everything. I think that uh, I, if I don't know myself, I know where to look or who to ask. So, uh, uh, so I, I, I think that uh, if you have those topics, then, then please keep them coming and we'll try to have a discussion uh, about those topics. So, uh, any any thoughts or or comments so far? Um, if not, I'll just give you an a short mention of who I am, and and I know that some of you, or or maybe even all of you, uh, participated in last week's pre uh, 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 seminar. But if not, uh, my name is uh, Daniel Karlsson. I'm from Sweden. I work at the uh, Swedish National Board of Health, which is also the uh, it's is hosting the National Release Center for SNOMED in Sweden. And we've been members uh, in in SNOMED International, the the uh, the organization, since 2007 and uh, I worked at the Board of Health since 2017, but I worked for the NRC since 2006, uh, even in the preparations of our uh, of of Sweden joining uh, the organization. Uh, my background is uh, technical. I got a computer science uh, master degree, and then I did a PhD in health informatics. So that's my background, but uh, I, well, actually I, I started as a nurse's aide when I was 15 and I've been working as, as a nurse's aide in, in summers and weekends uh, un, until I, I started at the 
uh, as a PhD student. So uh, and and I worked in this area. So I'm I'm not a clinician. I I I, I won't claim to have any uh, clinical knowledge, but I worked in this area since 1995. So uh, I, I I do have some experience of of uh, at least healthcare informatics. So uh, let's get into the uh, the meat of of today's topic, which is uh, SNOMED CT structure and formats. And uh, I will describe uh, the uh, a, a logical view of SNOMED CT, and that is someone is not muted and, and doing something. So, uh, yeah, that, that will be recorded for eternity. Uh, so, uh, well, you do. If you're ever heard about SNOMED, you've likely heard about concepts and and maybe uh, descriptions uh, and 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 definitions and relationships and and reference sets. But uh, I will try to describe those things in, in um, first in a generic level and then in more detail uh, when we come into the release format. That is the format in which. Uh, SNOMED is distributed and, and represented. So, uh, uh, and, and that is also the source of truth of, of SNOMED. So that's the, the what what constitutes uh, SNOMED CT. That's a set of release format two files. The, the terminology, and then we will talk about uh, terminology services as the way to access SNOMED CT. Uh, so, well, what? However, you use SNOMED if that's in in for in your health record or uh, for analytics or whatever the use case, you likely need some services to be able to access and uh, the the content and the descriptions and the concept, and and those services could be very simple uh, or they could be quite complex and uh, we will look in in, in both uh, uh, like uh, ways of, of using SNOMED, I hope at least. So uh, let's go into the structure and formats. So this is um, uh, a logical view of of SNOMED with the concept in the middle. I put the link to the documentation uh, where I uh, have uh, borrowed this uh, this figure and, and where you can read more about the SNOMED logical model. Uh, but in, in SNOMED CT, uh, the, the concept is the central uh, uh, item of, of representation. And uh, concepts have uh, descriptions assigned. So descriptions, those are the terms um, that are used to uh, communicate about the concept and show uh, the concepts on the on, on screens and in in reports and and so on and uh what what's happened during the the authoring of concepts in in snowmed is that the authors they assign descriptions to concepts so for for a particular concept they state a number of descriptions um uh, and if if it's the case of of uh, of a non English language, there there is also translation happening. So there uh, there for for the concepts that are uh, developed by Snowman International, there is an English description or, or actually two English descriptions, uh, 
which is provided at least two could be more uh, <clears throat> but for example when when we in Sweden receive this, uh, when there is a new uh, SNOMED release, we start translating the new concepts uh, into Swedish. And uh, likely, uh, I, I, I don't know about the decision made in, in Finland about translation, but at least for part of the content, you would likely have to do something similar uh but but maybe not exact the exact same strategy as as uh, sweden uh but but still uh translating taking concepts described uh in the international uh edition of snowmed ct and and putting uh terms in your own language uh on those so that is uh that is one part of the so we have the concept in the middle the, there are descriptions uh assigned and so th so this is one one side of the uh of, of snow but that's the I, I would say the terminological side uh, that that's the terms that are used to describe terms synonyms etc that are used to describe the concept uh, on the other side we have concept definitions and uh, what what happens there is that uh, when th when there is a, a concept that is to be added uh, in 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 SNOMED CT, the SNOMED CT authors, uh, apart from adding the SNOMED CT terms, they the authors add a concept definition, and uh, that concept definition is based on uh other concepts which are already in snomad ct so new concepts are defined in terms of existing concepts in in snomad ct creating a network of concepts and if you had a look into uh the snomad browser or looked at snomad from, from in other ways you know that uh there are things like for uh, finding sites and associated morphology and and uh, various ways of linking between concepts in SNOMED. And that is the work of creating concept definitions. So when they say that a, a disorder of the lung is a disorder, disorder is another concept, and finding site is lung, that, that's uh, the concept definition of the concept of of uh, disorder of lung. The, this uh, this uh, concept definition is created by so far uh, mainly by human authors. There is some automation uh, that can be done in in streamlining some of the concept definition work. Uh, there are, for example, templates that are used to create new concepts in, in the international release. Um, but it's it's basically a manual effort. Uh, but the the output of, of this uh, concept definition work that the authors do is what is called a stated concept definition. Uh, so this stated means this is what the authors stated about this concept. Uh, and then there is a specific piece of software or machinery which takes all the stated concept definitions that the authors have created and it 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 runs an a, uh, an algorithm and it's called a classifier it generates based on the stated all the inferred additional relationships that can be deduced from what is stated. So this means that it is able to use the knowledge that is encoded in the concept definition to deduce all possible inferred relationships based on those uh, definitions. Uh, 
So as so, and and this inferred concept definition, this is what is shown in the browser. So this is what what you see uh, when you go to the Snowman browser. Uh, actually, you could you could see there there is a button to switch between stated and inferred. So you could see this is what the authors said about the concept, and this is what the uh, uh, the machinery uh, inferred from the the stated uh, definition. This allows. Uh, this has uh, several benefits uh, of, of using this this algorithm or this machinery. To it that uh, for for humans maintaining a large terminology like SNOMAD, which is uh, it's it's getting up to four hundred thousand concepts now. Uh, it's it's becomes. Uh, impossible to be complete. There will be missing uh, relationships. Uh, so the this classification uh, algorithm can help detect those missing links that that were not stated. Um, and it, it also uh, it. it you're you're also able to detect when there are uh, mistakes made in authoring. So if you if, if if an author authors a concept and it ends up in in a completely strange area of SNOMED, uh, then an author can take a look at the this what what are the inferred uh, concept definition and and deduce that I that that there might be a mistake. In the stated concept definition, so this helps uh, quality assure SNOMED from a from a, a uh, an authoring perspective that it's uh, it, it guarantees at least some level of completeness of uh, uh, the relationships in in SNOMED. And uh, I so so this is a feature. Uh, it's it's this this feature is used in in SNOMED. Uh, there are other uh, projects which apply uh, the same techniques. Uh, so in if you uh, if you heard about uh, various ontologies, this is the same basic principles being applied. To SNOMED as the work that is being done in 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 ontology. Uh, so there is there are things done in, in in the particularly in the research space about healthcare ontologies and and SNOMED is is applying the same techniques to SNOMED CT as as is being applied to uh, this ontology work. So this is the the the, the basic um, uh, logical. Well, I, I I should mention also that there are other related information, and this is where the reference sets uh, are used. I will talk more about uh, a reference set later on, but there there is additional information. So uh, the blue and the green describes the the terms and the definitions, uh, but there are also maps, uh, subsets, uh, uh, association, other kinds of associations between SNOMED and, and, and other things, which are kept in, in by a mechanism called reference sets. Uh, so uh, this, this is included in this uh, purple box here. Um, but I will, I will talk more in detail about uh, these um, uh, various features uh, later today. So I, I will make a pause for a few seconds to see if there is there anything, any question or any uh, clarification that is needed. So I, I, I know that this was very a very uh, quick uh and overview-ish uh orientation to the 
the structure of SNOMAD. Uh, thank you, Daniel. Maybe I have some questions at first. Uh, you said last Friday that there are eight persons in your in NRC Sweden working in, in SNOMED City. So can you explain what kind of background education they have? And uh, they, are they technical persons or medical or nursing social care? Yes, uh, of course, um, it, it's it's varied. Uh, so uh, there are the the technical background. Uh, there are two of us uh, or one one point five. Uh, really, so uh, the the other uh, people are have a medical background. Let's see if I. So we have a, uh, uh, an MD, a medical doctor, uh, uh, a nurse, a pharmacist, a biologist, and a, a dentist. Uh, so that's five, and that's and and then we have uh, 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 a person with with background from uh, uh, healthcare registers. Okay. Uh, so that's the the mix of people we have. Then it's uh, it's so, so the, these are the backgrounds of the people that we had. I think there is a, a tendency of the people. Well, actually, we have one one more with a, a technical background. So there's three of the, two and a half with technical background. Sorry, uh, does that make eight or does that make? I I, I lost count. Uh, so um, yeah, even even the. Those with a healthcare background, I would say, are uh, a bit. I I I don't know. Uh, they're they. Uh, uh, they have a certain attitude. I would say a, a certain um, like they. So, so we we say that they are born with uh, like the squared paper that you do mathematics on in their heads. Okay. Uh, so even even though they have a, a clinical background, uh, it they they and and they have worked as uh, doctors, nurses, and and pharmacists and dentists and so on. Uh, I, I would I would suspect that this is a subset of of uh, uh, of clinicians with. Uh, an interest in 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 this area with like terminology and yeah getting things done in a in an ordered fashion and, and so on so it it's it's a it's it's probably a kind of a special breed but uh, since all of those the you who uh, who listen to this call since you you took the Friday uh afternoon off to to listen to to me talking about snowmed i i would suspect that we're 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 part of the same tribe <laughs> in that sense yeah and uh one more question for me uh, you mentioned that you are uh, translating all these concepts to swedish so do yeah. you have some some kind of quality check with translations Yes, uh, we do, and and that is so. There is uh, uh, so what what we do with translation is that we outsource uh, the translation to a translation company, which does uh, translation using uh, um, medical translators who who usually translate medical texts and and so on. So, uh, so that's where we. Uh, what what we start with so and and they have each concept is translated by two people so at least two people so there there is a quality uh, uh, control already at that translation stage and then there is a third uh, person who checks all the translations for correctness afterwards okay and then they're delivered but that's like the first step. 
so what we what we currently doing is that we're translating one for each concept we're providing one Swedish uh, description. Uh, that description is not always um, what what is used in in healthcare. So there there is an additional step uh, that is happening uh, on a uh, as needed basis. So when when we're working in with with SNOMED projects where they're doing SNOMED implementation, we do uh, go through the the descriptions, the translations, check if there are any like there could be mistakes which are corrected, and then we do add synonyms uh, to to those concepts when when needed. So the 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 reason we do this is that we 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 have at least one translation of each uh, concept in, in actually that's not exactly true because we we have selected certain areas which we don't translate so there is a lot of uh, so um, uh, Organisms are often in Latin, and and like animal organisms, we don't translate. Uh, and like only when it's needed to describe, for example, an allergy or or something, that is translated. Yeah. Uh, some of the technical stuff in there. there uh, so, SNOMED uses SNOMED to describe SNOMED. Uh, so some of the concepts are technical SNOMED technical concepts, which are have a specific function in 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 SNOMED. And and we decided at least so far that we don't translate those technical terms because it it all the documentation is in English and and it might be creating more confusion than than that it's it's uh, addressing by by translating so we avoid it. so there are some areas where where there is uh, but but otherwise we we're translating so we have at least one one description for each concept and that that allows us to start at least somewhere so not not everyone in swedish healthcare is is uh, fluent in english and and even less fluent in medical english uh, and and it's it's difficult even for a, uh, for a translator sometimes times to understand the dis distinctions that are made in in the uh, in the descriptions used to des to describe the concepts from Snowman International. So it's so translation is is it's it's sometimes tricky. Yeah. Some yeah. Yeah, some, sometimes it's not so uh, uh, the, like the large majority is, is fairly straightforward, but there are uh, things uh, we, we've had examples where there are uh, uh, an artery in in the per, perfusing the the colon where we just didn't know if there was a Swedish name and, and if the thing that sounded like it could be the Swedish name actually was the same thing. And we had to discuss this with colorectal surgeons, yeah. <laughs> which was the correct one. And and, and that was like it, 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 it was use case driven because there was uh, uh, some work done with SNOMED implementation in that area. Uh, so so that that amount it, it's it, snowman is so large so we we can't apply that same kind of rigor to every translation that's that we oh at least we can't afford it and we don't have the uh the people to do it yeah. uh so so that's and um yeah so whether whether it's so many other SNOMED countries have, have decided not to translate the whole thing, that, but rather only translate on a per use case basis. Yeah. And uh, I, I would, so th there are pros and cons and, and the 
obvious pro of that approach is that it's less expensive. Um, and I, I would, have we, had we done this again today, we we probably would have gone down the path of of not translating everything at a at a. But now we're we that that was the decision made ten years ago, so or more than ten years ago. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Yeah. There's one question from Kari Heinonen and from about inferred concepts. Yep. Uh, Kari, are you online? Would you like to say it in long? Kari? Ah, okay, participating on text only. So ah, okay. the question was, are, there, are they saved to database once generated, for example, as a part of importing RefSet updates, yeah. or created yes. dynamically based to query? Yeah, no, they, they are created. Uh, uh, so this is the the main part of the SNOMED release is the uh, these inferred concept definitions. So that that is part of the of the release. So it's pre-computed. Uh, I did not intend to talk about pre and post coordination, uh, but it's so all the concepts that are in the SNOMED release are have a pre-computed inferred concept definition. Uh, so that's um, so it, it's not something that is done on the fly. Although you could if you if that's what what your use case required, but but it's uh, that I I think is not happening uh, to any large extent worldwide. Um, so there is a, an other means of querying SNOMED concepts uh, that I will talk about later called expression constraint language. Uh, and I will show you some, uh, some uh, examples of that later on. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah. I hope that answered the question. Okay. So, uh, okay, uh, so let's continue. Uh, so this is the, uh, this is how this logical model relates to the, the format in which SNOMED is distributed. So for concepts, there is a file, a, 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 a file which contains all the concepts. For descriptions, there is a file which contains all the descriptions. Uh, for the stated definition, there are a number of reference sets which are called OWL ontology and OWL axiom reference sets. I, I won't go into detail about this, but this is how the stated concept definitions are represented today. And this is a change that was introduced uh, uh, two years ago or, or so. Uh, when when this uh, classification is is uh, is run on the stated definition, it creates the the relationship file, and that includes all the inferred and stated relationships uh, in a, a single file. So this is a like pre-computed uh, version of the stated uh, concept definitions in in like one one line in this file for each relationship that you see in like finding side and and so on uh, for each concept so this is the and and this file this has been the same since uh the latest release format was introduced in like uh almost 10 years ago uh, so there is no change. And then we have all the other related information and there are all these kinds of reference sets with different names. So uh, map reference set, simple map and extended map, simple ref set, language ref set and so on. I will talk a bit more about that uh, later on. So um, the, uh, so SNOMED 
and and the SNOMED release and the SNOMED terminology is is basically a set of different files with which contain all these uh, different things in in the logical model, and everything in SNOMED is identified. So there are these links between descriptions and concepts, between concepts and relationships, uh, between these reference sets and the concepts, as well as descriptions. So this is uh, uh, this is just showing the the means how this logical model is is uh, is represented in 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 the SNOMED CT distribution. Another uh, concept or another thing that, that is important to understand how SNOMED works is a SNOMED CT module. And a module is a, a group of SNOMED concepts and reference that manage this, manage and maintain a distributed as a unit. Uh, so uh, this is the way how SNOMED CT is modularized. So uh, since SNOMED is a big thing, it, it, it needs to be divided into chunks. Like you have a, the international content and you have the edition. There is a Swedish edition, there is a US edition, and there might be a Finnish edition. And I, I don't know if, to which extent that, that uh, is already in existence or not. Um, but each of these things are are kept in modules. So, uh, for example, the uh, the international edition has two modules. It's the SNOMED CT core module that contains all the clinical concepts and descriptions and relationships and every all, all the all the uh, the clinical knowledge that is encoded in SNOMED is in the SNOMED CT core module. And then there is uh, a, another uh, module called SNOMED CT model component module. This contains all the attributes in SNOMED, so all your, your uh, uh, finding sites and procedure sites and so on are uh, in the model component module. Uh, the Swedish edition has all the international modules plus the Swedish module, and, and currently there is only one module, uh, that which is uh, the one Swedish module, which is a Swedish NRC maintained module. And uh, the Swedish module depends on the international module, so it's uh, there is a way of specifying that one module needs another module in order to make sense. So the Swedish module depends on the international core module and the international uh, model component module because we're using the same uh, attributes that, that Snowman International is using for the international edition. Uh, so this this allows there to be uh, a, a hierarchy of, of modules. So if we have a Swedish edition, we could have a Stockholm edition, which is depends on the Swedish edition, which depends on the international edition and so on. That has not happened in uh, in Sweden so far, but it's seen, for example, in in uh, in the United States, there is a um, Kaiser Permanente, uh, the large healthcare organization, has a, their own module, which depends on the U.S. national extension, uh, which depends on the uh, international modules. So that's uh, the way that uh, modules work. So it, it's. Uh, it's a way of of dividing the the elephant into into chunks, uh, which would make it easier to digest. Um, Nomad editions and versions are other, two other things that 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 should be defined. Uh, an edition is a set of modules including all dependencies. So there is the international 
edition that includes the international module and the core uh, module. The US edition contains the inter all the modules from the international edition and the US modules. I don't know if they have more than one. Uh, so that an edition is a complete set of modules. Uh, whereas an extension is a set of modules that adds to the international. And an extension cannot be used separately. Uh, and uh, examples of extensions are there is a Danish extension, there is actually a Swedish extension. Uh, so we've at least so far decided not to create a Swedish, a pre like loaded Swedish edition, but you would have to create your own Swedish edition by downloading the international modules and then adding the Swedish uh, modules on top, Swedish module on top of that international, uh, or those international modules. And it, it, it might sign, sound complicated, but it, it's, it's basically uh, whether you want your user to have a, like a one step process where you download everything and or install it to your database or terminology server or whatever you're using, uh, using only one step, or if you would uh, think that you could, you could uh, have two steps instead. So it, it's, it's, it, the difference is not that that large. Uh, a version, that's an addition or extension published at the specific date. So for example, the latest Swedish uh, extension is from May 2020. So that's the, we say that this is a May 2020 version. So, uh, uh, so an edition is a complete set of modules and, and there is uh, like the international edition and then there are the country specific editions. An extension is like only the country specific part of, the, of an edition. And a version that is when it's published at a specific date. So the international, you, you know, is, is released and end of January and end of July. So there are two versions of the international edition every year. And another uh, uh, basic concept of, of SNOMED releases is that there are different release types. And depending on what your use case is, you might uh, require different. So there is a full release, which contains the full history of every component and reference set. And that means that you have all different uh, iterations of, I, I won't say versions because that's, that's a term that is already used. So for every concept, every change that has been made to that concept is in the full release. Uh, and every change to every description is in that and every change in like uh, adding or inactivating uh, concepts or descriptions or, or like anything in SNOMED has a full history in the full release. And if that what you need, then you they, you could use the full release. Uh, the snapshot contains only the uh, component with the latest timestamp. Uh, so each of uh, all all pieces of information in in these SNOMED files is timestamped. That that timestamp is called effective time, and the snapshot only contains uh, the la the latest. So it doesn't contain the full history, only the latest, uh, uh, with the with the la latest timestamp. The delta is all changes since last release versions. So that contains 
uh, the difference between the current release and the previous release. So, for example, the uh, July uh, release of Snowman International uh, uh, edition, that delta contained the differences between the uh, Actually, that that is an interesting question because there was an intermediate release because of COVID in 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 uh, March. So uh, so in a normal year, a non-COVID year, it would be the differences between the uh, the July release and the January release of 2020 would be in the delta. I would assume that you would it would be the difference between the January and the July, but I'll, I need to check that up. Uh, it's it, it was kind of special with the COVID release in in March this year. Uh, so so these are the 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 release types. There is a full release, a snapshot, and a delta, and and those are different for for different purposes. So. Any any questions about those like basic concepts of 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 the snowman concepts? Onko herran, yeah, onko herran kysymyksiä? Any questions or comments? Uh, okay. I have one question. Sorry, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Shoot, shooting your Lot of, lot of questions uh, about Swedish edition. Uh, is yeah. it available also to other Snowman CT member countries uh, after yeah. uh, accepting your agreement? Yes, uh, absolutely. So uh, the easiest way is to uh, the Snowman International has a tool called uh, Member License and Distribution System (MLDS). And the address is mlds.ihdsdotools.org, uh, and you could go in there and uh, request uh, a license to use Nomad. That's the easiest way, and then you could download it yourself. And on on the, uh, sorry for being technical, but it's we don't have a downloadable Swedish edition, only a Swedish extension. So you would have to download an international uh, edition and then add the Swedish extension on top of that. So that's, but uh, that that is possible. And uh, if you need any help, uh, just so, so every, uh, every, piece of work that is done uh, nationally is available to because we are all we all signing the same snowmed license agreement yeah uh, so e everything is and I I, uh, uh, I I so when exchanging uh, information between national release centers uh, I so we could so I, I I borrowed stuff from the Dutch and the British um uh, release so uh, it's 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 both possible and i think also encouraged um uh, so yeah. thank you if, uh, if you have problems just just let me know and and we'll we'll arrange yeah. things yeah it's a matthias question please it's a matthias Your microphone is muted. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I just want to comment that um, we have already used uh, the Swedish translation or the Swedish version uh, exactly the way Daniel you di just described, and that has been very useful. Happy. 
to <laughs> that you found it useful. Thank you. Uh, we have also uh, reserved uh, namespace for uh, NRC Finland for Finnish edition, but it's empty at the moment. No, no, no. no inclusions or no code at all. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I'm thinking this is also something that I didn't uh, plan to bring up, but I'll mention it now. So you, so these, as you see here on the on the slide, so these RF2 files, release format two. Uh, there is a release format one since this is number two, uh, but that that was replaced. I, I, I maybe five to ten years ago or so. I, I don't remember. Uh, but it's uh, you can actually hand hand uh, code if you <laughs> if you're good with Notepad. Uh, you could write your own uh, release files. That is not recommended. You need for for like serious work. You need so a set of tools to manage your release, to do your authoring, and 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 so on. Uh, it's theoretically not needed, but in practice, it's uh, absolutely necessary to have tools. So you. I, I and I don't know where where you where how where you are at in in Finland with regards to tool. There are a number of options uh, on on the on that particular market, um, but that would be something for you to consider. Uh, so uh, so so given given that. Uh, these RF2 release files are are they are tab separated. That is the tab character. That's the key that is on the almost the top left hand side of your keyboard, uh, and it's UTF-8 encoded. And UTF-8 is a character encoding uh, system that is developed to support all. Uh, different languages. So that means that you can use uh, not only uh, uh, Swedish and Finnish characters uh, with uh, uh, umlauts and, and stuff like that, uh, but also Korean and uh, um, so since Korea joined uh, Snowman International and and uh, Kazakhstan is also using a different uh, Cyrillic alphabet and so on. That is all covered by this UTF-8 standard, and that is the same standard that is used everywhere today. So this is not something that is all, all your uh, like cell phone and and Android or iPhones are using UTFS as your browsers and your uh, whatever you're using. This is a nobody's using the same format. Uh, it it is it's it's not pleasurable to read these files. They are large uh, because Snowman is large, uh, and uh, um, it's. It's uh, I only I, I don't think you could load them into Excel even if you tried because they're too large. Uh, so they are intended for to be read by uh, by terminology services. So they they would you would load and and uh, uh, and uh, read them. The software would read them, not not humans. Uh, but it's it's technically possible to open a file and, and see what's in there. Uh, all of those files, every row has at least so so that all all the files we were talking about description files, concept files, relationship files, and so on, and and ref set, reference sets files. They have each row has an ID, so each row is unique. Uh, well, or ID together with active time. Effective time is uh, unique. So ID is the identification of the component. So that could be the concept ID or the description ID. 
Uh, and together with an effective time, uh, that gives uh, whether uh, it is, uh, uh, if there are different, for example, in the full, uh, full release, there will be several rows for each concept ID with different effective times reflecting the changes that have happened. Active is for determining whether a concept is active or inactive. So a one means active, zero means inactive. And a, a module ID is the identifier of the module that this component that is description or concept or whatever, but what that belongs to. So this could be used to uh, handle uh, uh, history in, in SNOMED in, in a, a quite uh, effective way. So this is a, a, a piece from the concept file. Uh, each uh, row has a, an ID, an identifier. These are concept identifiers. These are the ones which you can see in the, in the browser. Uh, they have an effective time, they're, they're active, and this is a module ID, and, and concept definitions also have a definition status ID, which specify uh, whether those are uh, primitive or fully defined. This is, uh, I see, has not been updated because the names of those concepts have changed. Uh, so this is uh, the link to the documentation where this is mentioned. Uh, and, and looking at the, the I, I borrowed this table from the documentation as well, and, and looking at the dates, it, 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 it's still correct, but the example seems to be uh, somewhat aged. So you can see here that it's the same ID that have existed in, in, in different shapes and forms in four different uh, points of time. So in, if, if this is a complete uh, set of rows for this uh, concept ID, it, the concept was added in July 2007, and effective time usually is the end of the month. I, I'll have to comment on this on the in the documentation. Uh, but there is an effective time. So they say that in 1st of July 2007, this concept was added. Uh, it was active. It belonged to module one, which is, um, and it was a primitive concept. And then in January 2008, six months later, it was moved from module one to module two still primitive. In July 2008, uh, it was moved, it was changed, the, the concept definition changed somehow, and what was previously a primitive concept, it was now a defined concept. And then in 2009, 1st of January, it's was inactivated. Uh, and this is uh, uh, inactivated uh, in, in, this, in this release. And if you would get a snapshot of this, if, if you have, would have a full release, it would, that would contain all four of these rows in, in the concepts file. If it's a snapshot, it will only contain the latest one. So uh, this is the uh, how the history and and this works similarly for all. It's the same for descriptions. It's the same for uh, relationships and and uh, anything else that is in in SNOMED. There, there is uh, also relationships between uh, these files. So uh, 
like description concept relationships are together called components and they have this four uh, uh, elements aspects which are common to all components the concept adds the definition status as we saw in the in the last slide um, uh, a description adds a concept id which identifies which concept the term describes so this is the way that concepts and descriptions are linked there is a concept id in the descriptions table which points to the concepts that the description uh, describes there is a language code so that would be sv for swedish and fi is that the language code for finnish and I guess so. Yes, uh, yeah. yeah. Type ID uh, specify whether it's a, f a fully specified name or a, or a, a, a synonym. Uh, those are two specific types of of descriptions. Term that's the uh, that's where the actual description, the the string, the the text that of the description is in in this. Uh, field and then case significance is a way of dealing with whether things can be uh, should be could be capitalized or whether you could use lowercase uh, etc or not so it, it can be used uh, for for such purposes relationships relationships is uh, creating typed relationships so type id here would uh, specify the 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 attribute of uh, the relationship so this is for example the finding site or or associated morphology that would be the type here source id is the source of the relationship and destination is the destination of the relationship so it it connects two concepts by means of an attribute that's how the relationship works uh, relationships can be grouped uh, because if you're the the typical example is that you uh, if you uh, uh, have relationships of the same type the same attribute to describe a concept you need to identify which ones belong together uh, so if you uh, in a surgical procedure, have removal of one body part and insertion of another in the same procedure. You need to link the removal to the right uh, body part and the the uh, insertion in, in, uh, of of a prosthesis or something in, into the other. So there is no and there are like there there are things that would be seriously messed up if if it was not possible to group these. Uh, so, like anastomosis or another example, things which are combined together and and so on needs to be uh, to be grouped. Uh, characteristic type: there is only one uh, uh, and modifier ID is only one as well. There was features that were where you could say which how you could refine and, and so on but I, I i haven't heard of anyone using them for uh, quite some time now and and this is the so that was the simple view and this is a more realistic view uh, uh, as I said, we had this this uh, uh, description logic classification uh, thing that happened, which took the stated concept definition and created a inferred concept definition. So uh, these these are the uh, the relationships that we saw in the previous are actually an 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 artifact which is created using the stated concept definition through this algorithmic classification uh, and then we have the reference set uh, which uh, point out uh, 
like uh, a, a reference component. So that it's a way of referencing descriptions, concepts, etc. In, in, in Snowbed, which I will talk about now. Uh, are there any in, any questions so far? This was a bit a bit uh, technical, but uh, I hope you can follow along or or at least you know where to, where to look for more information using the links. Uh, there's one question from Kari Heinonen. Huh? Uh, I assume that the text between vertical bars in the Snowmet CC IDs columns in example are included for readability only. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, sorry. Uh, yes, I, that I should have mentioned. So these, there are no text. For, uh, so the only, let's see, get that. So uh, these ID, module ID are Snowmet CT IDs, which are numbers only. So the, they're only numbers, and and this is for, this is oh let's get a, there. This is for readability. This uh, that the uh, vertical bars and so on. So this is not in the actual files. It's just the numbers. So uh, sorry, I I should have made that clear. Uh, thank you for for raising that issue. Uh, yeah, and and it, of course, module ID there there should be a number, not the uh, the text. So this is actually quite <laughs> wrong from a, a release format two perspective. Uh, there should be a number in in all these all these where it says SCT ID. That's a number, and between like five and eighteen uh, decimal numbers, or it's a sixty four bit uh, unsigned integer. I think it is. Thank you. This is uh, actually a time for uh, a good uh, uh, reminder. Uh, SNOMED CTIDs are are longer than what is usually allowed in many software systems. So this, and particularly in Excel, Excel uses a uh, a standard for representation of numbers, which is uh, it's an IEEE standard, which I don't remember the number of now, but it allows for in, in decimal numbers, it's 15 digits. Uh, but since Nomad has 18 digits, if if Excel gets a Snomad ID, which is 18, uh, 18 digits, it will truncate the last three. And that is not good. <laughs> uh, so ev whenever you use SNOMED and Excel, you have to use strings like text, copy. Yeah. Uh, so it has to be text or or you will, uh, you will, uh, I, I, I'm speaking from experience. Uh, it will be difficult to, uh to pinpoint where where th those strange concept ids came from which i can't find that concept id in snowman and that could be because it's been truncated it's not only excel many like uh programming uh like uh uh Java, JavaScripts, they, they you need to use specific like data types in. So you could, it's not only Excel, it's not Excel that is, it is not worse than anything else, but the the normal way of dealing with numbers in in many systems don't allow for the like full length of of, of all SNOMED CTIDs. So that's uh, be careful uh, about those things. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Yeah. So I'm. Uh, I think I have one more slide, and then we have terminology service, and maybe we could take a five-minute break. Yeah. And and we continue afterwards. So I'll I'll just mention uh, things about uh, 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 so let's see the reference sets, or they are called ref sets for short. Uh, reference sets is uh they they are 
same as any other release format 2 file. They have the uh, uh, the same uh, a, a, a rep set uh, is 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 a component in in Snowmad. So it's it has the same four ID effective time active and module ID. Uh, so in addition to these, all ref reference set files add a rep set ID and a reference component ID. And then it adds a lot of different uh, elements which are different for each uh, reference set type. And there are 21 different reference, reference uh, types. So uh, just as an example, uh, uh, this is a, a simple map reference set. That's a type of uh, mapping reference set that adds in addition to like id effective time active and module id uh, it adds the rep set id which is the id of of the of the reference set and uh, a reference component so uh, and and the simple map adds a map target so in this example we have a rep set uh, a reference set, it's the SNOMED RT ID simple map. And again, in the files, there are only numbers. This is just for readability. Uh, the reference component is a SNOMED concept. It's uh, the, uh, it seems to be an organism of some kind. I, I, I probably should have checked, but, uh, and it links, this is a map target, this uh, this uh, old SNOMAD code, uh, which is behind the video. So L-55535, that's the, uh, uh, so this simple map says that there is a mapping between the reference component, which is the SNOMAD concept, and the uh, map target, which is the this, uh, piece of text L55535. So this is only one way in which reference sets can be used, but there there are, as I said, 21 different types. And uh, there is a link down here to all the different uh, types. Uh, one type that we use a lot is uh, the simple reference set, which is only has a reference component, a ref set ID and reference component, which allows you to subset SNOMED. So you could select a, a part of SNOMED. And, and this is, I, I think that any any uh, any implementation of, of SNOMED to be successful, you never use the whole of SNOMED, but you could use a subset. And simple reference sets are, are a way of subsetting SNOMED. Uh, so, any questions about reference sets, uh, and or before we take a short break? Thank you, Daniel. Are there any questions or comments? Now it's good chance to ask. Well. May I ask for the yeah, participants sure. uh, if there are any kind of experience uh, about using SNOMED CT in their work at the moment? Oletteko Suomessa käyttäneet miten SNOMED termistöä tähän, tähän päivän mennessä? Haluatteko vähän kertoa kokemuksianne siitä? Kovin on hiljaista tällä hetkellä. Mutta ehkä me varmaan pidämme vähän taukoa välillä ja jatkamme sitten. Maybe we should take a break now. Yep. And go on to terminology services after the break. Yep. So it's five, five, five minutes. minutes.
I could do five, but I could do ten as well. So whatever you say. Uh, maybe five minutes is okay. Yep. Okay. So we, we can go on at two twenty-five. Okay. Thank you. So thank you. Oh.